and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be trying out this duo that I bought. It's uh, Born Pretty and uh, they sell them uh, together. Uh, it's a black polish and this is a, a matte top coat. Let's see how it looks. I bought it a while back, but have not tried it yet. So the polish looks like this. Normal polish. And this is supposed to be a matte top coat. So that's what I'm going to do. On my ring finger, I'm going to put some nail art. I'm going to make some nail art. Uh, what I'll be using is this, uh, it's called broken glass paper. This paper, I bought it in Thailand, but you can buy the same on AliExpress. And they sell them, it comes in a bag like this. But it is exactly the same. There are different colors. And there should be a pink in here. Um, you see, there is this one, which is the same as this one. This one is a tiny bit darker. But I think there is a lighter one here. So anyway, I'm going to use the other one because this one is already opened. I already used it before. So that is what I'm going to do. I will be using a CAD's stamping plate number 020. And uh, my favorite stamper from uh, Rainbow Connection. And uh, let's start. I'm going to start by painting my ring finger with some white polish. And this is from Essence. And it's called Wild White Ways. So that's the same what I did with this hand, this finger here. I think it's so beautiful, especially in the light outside. So just a very thin layer. I'm going to use it as a kind of glue to make the paper stick. paper I have cut it in a small piece like this because it uh, it's not like water decals that if there is some uh, extra you can remove it with acetone this paper doesn't melt with acetone so it's best for you to try to shape it as uh, precise as possible Just hold it like this until it sticks. 
so now I've been holding it down with my finger so that it really sticks and uh, now I'm gonna apply some water-based top coat before I start stamping oops so it's good to be abundant so that it really sticks well and lays flat Oh, sorry, was out of focus. And I'm going to do the other one because I did redo it. Um, I felt it had lost some color because I did it two days ago. So I just redid it. Now I will start stamping and uh, when I've done that I will start applying uh, this polish that I want to try and then after I will try this one, the top coat, matte top coat. So I'm going to put on some music and then I'll see you at the end of the video. I just want to mention that is absolutely gorgeous black it's like black is black is so dark and easy to apply and I'm really happy for I bought it it's a really really good polish I think it's one of the best black I have. Because black is like white. Uh, you have to search for the right one. Not all are, are good, even though it's just black and just white. It's not so simple. And this one is absolutely gorgeous. Only one coat is enough. You don't need two coats. I'm going to see if you can see it. It's really beautiful. Like a one coat black. All the products I'm using in this video, I will link them down in the description box. If you are not a subscriber, 
remember to subscribe and if you like this video hit the thumbs up I appreciate that and it helps me since I am a, such a new channel I really need support so look at that it is really beautiful black. are the finished nails and all in all I'm happy with my purchase and uh, this is gonna be my new favorite black polish it is so good the matte coat, um, it works well. I leave the link in the, uh, in the description. And uh, I'll see you next time. If you like my video, hit the thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber already, subscribe for more nail videos. Bye! In this roller coaster ride.